Hello there people, I know it's annoying to see just this piece of the guitar over here but I don't have an idea how to set up this camera like uh, in an appropriate position so at least I hope you hear me clear maybe in too strong, perhaps I can move the microphone slightly more to the guitar or something like that um, and I'm also not sure how nice you'll be able to hear it but here we go now it's time to play a bit I haven't actually tuned in but I already put my cap on, so I'm gonna try the first song without tuning, which means that it may sound worse than it should be. But uh, forgive me about that, so let's just get on. This is uh, m my second week of guitar, like it, it has already ended. I mean, there's been 14 days literally since I started playing. So let's see what I've done so far. Let me just not break the microphone on my hands though. Hope you hear it. And uh, don't mind me if I do mistakes. After all, I'm a noob, so just forgive me. <laughs> Okay, obviously, fourth string sounds pretty bad. Yeah, I, I bet you can hear that. It's kind of better now, so <laughs> let's try. So this was supposed to be born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen, I don't know, and honestly, I don't even care if you recognize this song, it's just for the video, so maybe I should try like to move on here, I don't know. However, <laughs> you don't see me any better, like I do have an idea how you see the guitar right now, but oh well. <laughs> so I'll just remove the capo now, we're not gonna need it for any of the following songs and rhythms and riffs and etc. If you don't know, this is how my capodaster looks. 
this flat one like you see the rubber over here this is what holds the strings you just uh, put this around like you see over here you put it this way then you strap it it's got these things here yeah it just separated itself but it doesn't matter that much uh, it's fine don't worry so now I'll just try to check if the strings are right actually if I'm in tune so you see I have this thing here this fella he's showing me like I mean it, 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 uh, it's hard to do it from this angle of the camera but wait so here it is yeah now I'll show you how this is done so I'm hitting the strings from 6 to 1st and this screen should go green if the string is correct you see it, it wasn't green from the actual beginning but I'll just assume it's fine so we're going for the fifth string see it's slightly too tight because it's going on the right of the center okay I'll just leave it like that I'm not going for a straight perfection that's fourth string it's all fine third string G I get this nasty sound I don't know where it comes from but it's annoying okay second string B yeah I'll leave it like that and first string E so it's not perfect but as I said I'm not striving for perfection right now so <laughs> I just want to do this quick preview of what I've done so far. Now um, I'm gonna show you the strumming patterns that I've learned. Uh, first is you see that I'm flowing through each of them. So we have the simple one, then the eighth strumming, then sixteenth. And as I said again, don't mind me if I fail. pretty much I'm not going too long over them neither am I going to play the full versions of the song probably at most I'll just showcase for shortly what I've learned what I've memorized and etc so now I'll start from these uh, short stuff that I learned actually the very first day or the second day for example that some of them came into my mind some of them I looked up on the internet but less talk and more do right so that's good to do but and that's all that I know from the beginning of nothing else matters Metallica so heading to the next one <laughs>
that should be smoke over water or something like that I'm not exactly almost nobody knows the song of the name but then almost everybody knows the actual song so just keep on Happy birthday as you recognize it. I know it sounds pretty bad, but that's it for a beginning. So keep on. That is the very, 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 very first part from... Uh, Californication it's like not even the full beginning you know it's not a chord it's not even a riff chord excuse me I don't know why I say chord because yeah English Bulgarian etc now it's just nothing but I I remembered it kind of so next thing This is supposed to be the entry of Gangsta's Paradise, you know, dun 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 dun. <laughs> Some people wouldn't recognize it this way because it's probably not the exact notes, but whoever cares, let's just keep on for our first actual. No, it is the second one because I already play, played uh, this uh, Born in the USA thing. Now I'm gonna try another full song, kind of, so. Oh, broke the microphone again. This was, um, jeez, <laughs> it just suddenly went out of my head, but, uh, 60 song, uh, how did I manage to forget this in 
a minute hey now what was it stop what's that sound everybody look what's going on jeez uh, i really forgot it honestly oh yeah uh for what it's worth by buffalo springfield i mean i know i hadn't heard of that song before i learned it so i wouldn't expect you to know it as well but it's just uh keep on to the third one or at least try to <laughs> I'll move myself as well so that maybe you see me better but it's like if I spin myself this way maybe it's gonna be slightly better I don't know because you can see part of my fingers here as well but not too much which is screwed up but yeah maybe I can try this angle so that you can look at my uh, left hand Perhaps learn something, I don't know, <laughs> whatever, it, just keep on. Supposed to be Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. <laughs> I know it's probably not even sounding as it should be, but however. <laughs> now, yesterday I kind of learned something with the same two chords from uh, this For What It's Worth, which are uh, E and A. It was Star Sailor, but I don't even recall the name of the performer. So <laughs> I'll just try to do it. I don't know.
I don't like the sound of it myself, honestly, because uh, I get a lot of these buzzing strings and everything. But well, what do you do? So, you know, if, if I try to hold it this way, I just want you to see the shifts between the chords because because that's one of the hardest stuff ever. You can see my wire in here, the microphone. <laughs> Um, now next thing I'll be trying, I won't tell you, but uh, if you didn't understand, that was supposed to be Star Sailor by whoever, don't recall the guy's name. Now let's keep on to the next song. So come and hold me tight Thing, I think I love you. Yep, uh, Wow Thing by the Trucks. I don't even know the whole lyrics. I tried to uh, sing a few <laughs> lines. It probably sounded horrible. I know. Just hold on for this. It's, it's purely the beginning. And um, I did notice a lot of my mistakes. The buzzing strings, some chords were not in place. I shifted some of them. I forgot to hit sometimes. You know, this. The thing, da, 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 da. I don't know if you could ever spot that, but never mind. It's all mistakes and failures and atoms. So let's get to the next thing, which was
I know it's a pain to listen to that, but what do you do? Uh, this is Ooh La La by The Faces, uh, laterly, la uh, later covered by Rod Stewart, who was part of The Faces or something like that. Honestly, I myself am not familiar with this band history. I just know most of these songs from the day I learned them on the guitar, which I'm going to tell you about after I finish with the songs how I went through these exact songs that you're probably not familiar with as well, except if you're not an old school music fan. But now let me just figure out what was the next thing. Well, it's actually not a particular one. Uh, I'm going to play like, wait, no, 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 no. That's going to be the seventh, but it's not seventh from the first in this video. It's a seventh from the course I went through. So it's actually I'm going to do number six now and maybe uh, actually not maybe you will recognize it because I will try to sing along just uh, some of the lines, you know, not all of them. So, yes, uh, the title is part of the lyrics. So you will know that song maybe 80 percent bet. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone It's not warm when she's away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone Every time she goes away and There was this part that I almost forgot Wait <laughs> um. Nah, there was something like a chorus but I, I I always seem to forget it, so screw that. I'm not striving for the whole song here, nor perfection, as I said from the beginning. I'll just uh, show you purely my progress for two weeks. That's literally the same Wednesday was uh, the 3rd of April, right? So today is 17th of April. And uh, never mind all of those mistakes. I'll try to fix them. We'll just head on to the next uh, 50 songs. And by 50, you know why I'm saying that number? Because with the following four chords that I'm going to play now, and then another variation of these same four chords, you can play like tens of popular songs. Uh, some of them include Country Roads, Take Me Home. The, the other one was... Uh, People kill and people die, and some a lot of pop songs. So let's just try to do that.
so those were uh, like uh, I don't know 50 of the songs that you could play with these songs and then when you change the rhythm slightly you can play perhaps another 30 of them so I'll try to do that as well Within these are, you know, the country roads thing and a lot of other stuff. Now, they will, this was the seventh song from the chorus, but th this particular, it's not one song as I said. And the rest, I don't actually really recall all of them. There was like three more. So I'll try to play one of them. And then I don't know what's going to happen for the rest two. Perhaps I'm just not going to play them. So before I play this one, I'll try to do the G major scale. And then maybe you'll notice that I'll right hop into the song. I'm going to try to focus the camera on my left hand again. This is The Joker by Bill Reiters, I think. Maybe I pronounced his name wrong, but however, it's not the full song again. Uh, the first riff is supposed to be looped over eight times, if you want to do that particularly. But uh, I'm not in any matter telling you what and how to do it because, you know, I'm not the one that you're supposed to learn from. Of course, I'm a noob, so <laughs> I was going to say something else. Um, then there's like two more songs from this course but hell i don't really remember them all i know is in one of them there was this uh damn c chord so look at that it was like here and there here and then here Th this is the c chord like what the hell C can you just look at that uh yeah it's weird so it was played like that so you had that twice it was like G 
then uh, two bars of C. Then I think it was E, perhaps. And say A, for example. But I'm not sure. And um, <laughs> honestly, don't care too much. As I said, this is not any kind of a performance, so it's just a small showcase. And that was it, guys, actually, to say the finish of this video. I made like uh, 10 or 12 songs total. Eight of them were from this Andy Guitar Beginners course. Uh, you can look it up in YouTube, it's totally free. Like uh, in his channel, there's this 10 day challenge, that's what I'm talking about. So it was like day one, chords E and A, day two, uh, chord, chord D, day three, day four, and that's until day 10. I passed it for nine days because uh, not that I was too good, it's just that I was pretty impatient of myself, so uh, yeah. And now what I'm doing, uh, it's been three days since I finished this challenge. And I'm going deeper into it by trying to play the rest of the songs that he's showcasing. So for day one, you've got uh, 10 more songs that are played only with two chords. So we're talking about the same E major, like this thing over here. And then A major, which is this. So except for, for what it's worth and Star Sable, you can play like eight more songs with these two chords, including uh, Satisfaction by Rolling Stones. I bet you, you know that, maybe. But uh, that's all, folks. Thank you for your patience. I know it's been uh, a pain to listen to that. Uh, too low level of a beginner guitarist, but hey -o. <laughs> you know how much I like back in the couch to show myself. Anyways, see you guys. Goodbye.